Hey, it's Mark with Mark's Virtual Real Estate Channel. We're back with another Upland video. Um, today I'm doing something a little different. I'm combining two videos into one. So we'll see if this is a good idea or a bad idea. Uh, we're gonna talk about the Porto Collection release, which is happening on Monday, and give you some of my predictions or at least strategies on what I'm doing. And we're also doing another Lazy Node contest announcement. So those are always fun too. This is a video where you enter two Enter the Lazy Node contest, and we'll talk about that in detail here very soon. All right, we love the likes, love the comments, love the shares. Keep those coming. Um, we have lots of videos in Upland. I did a minting video earlier this week for the Rio least exciting release ever in the history of Upland, where they released a bunch of neighborhoods that no one really cares about. Um, I did buy some properties. I forgot how many I bought, um, but we've been selling some. I've sold quite a few, definitely not all of them, and I kind of made a goal not to mint anything less than or more than 4,000 Upix. So let's see what the floor looks like right here, actually. The floor, 4,100. They dropped the floor from 5,600 to 4,100 by doing that. So kind of weird how that happened. Um, we have our new nodes. We have um, Kokuta, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is now an official lazy bird node. That's what we called it. Kind of looks like a bird. There's its beak. There's its tail feathers right there. It's kind of sitting on a log of some kind, so you can't see its feet. They're kind of tucked underneath it. But, yep, that's our lazy bird. And we started that because another um, very active player just started building like crazy in here and wanted us to help promote the node. And we've been talking about this neighborhood in, in our Discord for a long time. Check below for our Discord link. And um, just seemed like the right time to do it. And it's funny, too, because I also was looking at Saud or Sade, Saud, Sude, whatever it is as one have some properties there too. And someone else messaged me and said, they're doing a node there now. So there's nodes all over Rio. I know what we have. This is a node, this is a node, this is a node. And oh yeah, someone said, this one is also a node now. So the thing I like about our nodes is we tend to do them in small neighborhoods, which I think helps keep values up. So that's one lazy node. And then we have our other lazy nodes now. For right now, our, our Lazy Node contest is going to be restricted to Neponzant in Queens, this neighborhood right here, and Henry Ford in Detroit. So we'll see if we expand that. I still haven't decided how to handle the new Lazy Bird node. That's kind of why we gave it a different name, too, instead of just a Lazy Node. Um, it's a Lazy Bird node because I don't know how to incorporate it to our current nodes. But right now we have contests for building properties in our, quote, Lazy Nodes. And we call them Lazy Nodes because... Nobody has to do anything or do much. We just have fun, buy properties, talk about them. No requirements to be in the node. Heck, you don't even have to own a property to come on our Discord and hang out and talk to us. So <laughs> it's very laid back. But you can see we've been building lots of properties. We picked the ponds because of the beach area, the small location. Lots of builds going on. Um, I'm actually going to be trading for a, a large townhouse here soon, so that's always fun. Um, but this is our winner from two times ago almost done with an apartment usually we're able to finish a build before we announce the new contest winner but apartments take a little longer but only three days left so that's cool to see them almost have their building done and then the last winner which we actually announced i think it was monday is yep that's it only two days away from finishing up so i figured it was time to do another announcement give people time to comment to enter we'll post stuff on discord to make sure you're entered and then we'll do another drawing probably next week sometime today is friday in case you're wondering so how does a lazy node contest work well here are the rules they're pretty simple one you have to own a property in neponzant or henry ford in detroit again we're just doing these two for now maybe we'll add the lazy bird love to hear your input on that because like i said it's lazy if you, no one tells us what to do we'll probably just not do anything <laughs> you have to own a property and you have to start a build right you can't just own a property and start your build after you win you have to have already started a build. We had someone enter last contest and they had not started a build yet. So they were not eligible to um, win if they had one. So make sure you start a build and you own a property in one of these neighborhoods. And the only other thing you have to do is comment below on this video, not other videos, this video right here. Tell us your address and try not to use the exact address. Don't put zip codes or um, anything. If you just put the street number and the street name um, and maybe... Henry Ford and Neponzant 
that works for us. You can put your username in there too, your game name, um, but don't make it the exact same address because we think that might be why YouTube sometimes deletes your comments. So after you enter the comment below, please double check, make sure it's there. If it's not there, try entering it again. If you try like 70 times and it's still not there, then go to our Discord, tell us, hey, I can't make, you know, won't save my comment. Here's who I am, I wanna enter the contest. Maybe not 70, that might be a bit aggressive, but let us know um, on our Discord. And then on Discord, like a day before the contest, we'll post a list of everybody who we have entered, and you can double check if your name is not on there, let us know, we'll make sure you're entered in the contest there as well. Now, if you've won previously, you cannot enter again unless you have set your home address in Neponzant or Henry Ford. If you've set your home address, you have a building there, um, it's in Neponzant, it's in Henry Ford, you can enter again the contest. So um, we've had more and more people entering. So um, the sooner you enter these contests, this is number 12, I believe, the better chance you have as we keep going. I feel like we get more and more people entering. That makes your odds less and less. So enter one one time, only one property, so you can't enter four or five times. Doesn't matter how many properties you have, only enter one. And um, yeah, go ahead, comment right now, enter this lazy node contest, and then the winner, we do a little spinny wheel, we'll have the community donate Spark to help them build their property very fast. It's all on a volunteer basis, there's no requirements, but the community is very generous. Um, we're, we're able to build properties very quickly, and that's always fun to see. So. That's how it works. And then here's, yeah, Henry's, Henry Ford in Detroit. I keep buying properties here. I keep seeing good deals. How many properties do I have now? Um, way too many. That's 42 and then another, I don't know how many is down there. Oof, a lot of properties. And then my factory, I am building a factory here. So uh, let's see how it's doing. It's getting closer. 32 days. All right, cool. <laughs> so um, my next build, I would love to build like a mansion on the beach in Neponzant, but I don't have a beachfront property yet there. So I'll have to think about that. I would love to get one of these along here, but nobody seems to want to sell them. Well, there's one for sale, but it's 250,000 Upix, which is pretty pricey. Oh, and these are 1.2 million each. So, but eventually maybe I'll be able to get one there. Okay, that's the contest. Now, like I said, we're also doing Part two of this video, the Portigo, Porto collection release. Now I'm not doing a separate video because one, I'm lazy and I don't have a lot of time today. And two, because I don't know how excited I am about this collection announcement because it's really, really hard to guess what's gonna happen here. I can give you some ideas, but there's so many different streets and different things going on. It's gonna be crazy predicting them. I think they said there'll be eight collections, which is not very many. So you'll probably have at least a few neighborhoods, right? And a few streets. Um, I would imagine one of these smaller neighborhoods in here will probably be a rare, who knows which one. Um, the smaller ones usually are in that you know range. There'll probably be a, a, I don't know, I always forget what they're, standard collection, yeah. One of these bigger neighborhoods might be a standard. Um, maybe Cito Fieda, it's a very popular area, um, who knows? Again, this is why I'm doing two videos in one because it, there's not much information here. Now streets, oh, streets are tough too. So we have this kind of center thing and whenever you see streets go off a of center thing, I feel like that's good. I've heard Avenida de Boa Vista is very popular. That could be a collection. Um, it runs all along a lot of Porto, so it's probably not gonna be a rare one. It'll probably just be a standard, maybe exclusive one. Um, any of the streets along the river here, De Montevideo, Do Brazil, they all change though. Like they change so quickly as you go along the coast to different names. So trying to pick which one it will be, it's gonna be so difficult. And um, there's some crazy round stuff going on there. But so that's really hard. Um, one, I think the De Flores Street, I really do feel that um, could be a collection. Very small street, very popular, um, very exclusive. It only has 
It only runs from here to here. That's it. How much is this museum? Let's buy it. Nope, not gonna buy it. Okay, so um, that could be one. The um, I have one property on Cito Fieta still, because so I bought these for very cheap, um, really cheap, affordable. And that's something too, like a lot of these streets aren't selling for a lot because there's so many of them. Katarina is another street, which is right over here somewhere. Um, maybe, is that it? I always, nope, it's over here somewhere. I can never find that street for some reason. Am I in the right neighborhood? Yeah, it's in here somewhere. I had some properties on this street, but they pretty much all sold, I believe. So, or no, is that one of them? Right, nope, not there. So, uh, again, that's kind of my strategy with collections anymore, is not predicting them, is selling stuff beforehand. Because um, I was able to buy some real cheap stuff on Katarina, on Cito Fieta, and then sell them for a good profit. Now, if I'm waiting and guessing, you know, what I could sell now for 60, 70,000 Upix might sell for 10,000 Upix if I don't hit the collection. Or maybe it sells for 100,000 if you hit the collection. Maybe, if it's like rare. But that's a big risk. And I was just going to check here and see. Um, oh, where? There's a Katarina one I sold for 59,000. I think that was one I bought for 17,000. That was a crazy deal. I know how to find out where it is. There we go. <laughs> There's the street. Um, so those are some streets that could be collections. Um, again, anything along the coast could be. I know there's some other ones that are, have been very popular and famous. It's just really hard to know what these will be. And there's so many different streets. It's hard for me to guess. So I, I honestly feel bad giving any information out because I feel like it's going to be wrong. <laughs> so it'll be an exciting release because I feel like in Rio, we had a pretty good idea of what um, the streets might be and we're pretty close. This one just seems so much more difficult. So we'll see how that all goes. But again, my strategy has been to sell stuff before the release, make some money there and not gamble with um, the collection announcement. So we'll see if I'm around on the collection. I might be here doing a video. Um, as they announce it, I might try and pick off some properties. That's very, very difficult as well too. And very easy to get yourself by paying too much for properties doing that. So I, I didn't do that in Rio and I was fine with it. Um, we may do that here, we may not. So um, there's my amazing collection guesses, which aren't help, very helpful at all. But <laughs> um, hey, if they help you out a little bit, get some ideas, that's awesome. And um, yeah, I wonder if there'll be nodes in Porto. I'm sure there'll be some nodes started. Not a lot of area or neighborhoods for them. So that'll be interesting to see probably kind of, you know, wherever these aren't, if there's some small ones in this area that uh, aren't collections, I bet you they become nodes. I'm not saying I'm doing it. I don't think we want one in Porto. Don't want to have too many nodes, but I bet other people will for being the first city in Europe. Okay, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Love the support, love the comments. Like I said, make sure you comment below for this official um, Lazy Node contest announcement video and slash Porto collection video. And um, we'll do a drawing next week. Maybe we'll talk about the Porto Collections next week. Go from there. And then hopefully next week they don't announce another city opening up next week. Because that was a little crazy this week. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll be back.